In today's video, I'm going to tell you one thing that single mothers should never say to a man that they are seriously entertaining. If you're being courted by a man, being vetted by a man, and you are a single mother, you need to watch this because chances are you're going to mess up an opportunity well before you even had one. Let's talk about it. to the Most High Yah Shalom. Thank you for tuning in to another righteous, spirit-filled episode. Today, I'm back at it in them trenches handling that kingdom business. Man, oftentimes, single mothers, when they're dating or ask questions uh, about a man or by a woman trying to help them out, you know, the question gets asked, is their father in their life? And a lot of single women, because you're thinking out of an emotional state, you don't understand how unlogical your answer to that question is. You're a single mother, man's courting you, you guys are breaking bread, he's vetting you to see if he wants to give you the opportunity to have your status be elevated from single to being in a committed relationship, hopefully a covenant marriage, okay? He asked you the question, are the kids father in their life? Is the child's father in his life? The worst thing you can say to a good man is that the kid's father is not in their life and you're happy he's not in the picture. Let me say that again. The worst thing you can say to a good man as a single mother is the child's father is not in their life and you're happy that he's not in their life. Major red flags. A good man knows that a child is supposed to have a mother and a father, supposed to be raised up with balance. A good man knows that no matter how old this child is, that child is being raised currently in an imbalance. That man knows if that child is a little bit older, those unbalances are gonna cause certain term oil that oftentimes women can't see. That term oil is oftentimes unnecessary because we know that the mother is gonna choose the child over having a spiritual covering, over having a provider. What sense does it make for a man to try to cover you and be with you if you are in your mind happy about living in an unbalance? You see what I'm saying? That's not a, that's not a bonus for you to tell a man that the child's father is not in their life. Because when you say that and you say that arrogantly and pridefully, guess what? Now that man knows, okay, not only did you lay down with a man, possibly out of wedlock, but this man is not being held accountable as a provider. That man, since he's out of the picture, according to you, uh, he's not having any visitation. You know, that man is not providing any financial uh, provisions for the child. So now you're telling that man, not only are you a single mother, but you don't know what a good man is. You don't know how to select one. And you're trying to run a uh, old game on a good man. And he's going to discern it. He's going to discern, okay, that's too much of a liability for me to come into the picture and you're not even holding the father accountable to be a father, but yet you're holding me accountable 
are trying to hold me accountable or one day going to hold me accountable to the standard of a good man because I came in and tried to truly help you. Major red flags. Single mothers never take pride in the fact that your child's father is not in their life. It further discredits you, especially if you're okay with it. Well, I'm kind of glad he's not in their life. Things are easier since he's not in their life. And the major red flag that that shows is that you're a selfish single mother. That's what that shows. You're selfish. You care more about your provision, your welfare, than you do the betterment of those children, the welfare of those children being raised in balance. And that balance doesn't have to uh, come from you being with their father. No, what is that relationship? How is that co-parenting relationship? And here you are saying you're glad that your child's father is not in their life. And you wonder why you're still single. Close to the Yah Ministries, kicking that thing, gun barrel straight.